So can you uh, actually can you tell me some steps to create a React app? So what we will do is like we will uh, create a new React app. So how we will do with the help of npx, npx create React app and with the help of app name. So npx create React app app name. Then what we will do? We will start the development server. So we will do npm start. So these are the few steps. Uh, with the help of that, we can create the uh, React app. Okay, and which ID you you are using to code the React? A uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, what do you understand by polymorphism? So, polymorphism is nothing but one name but different forms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so what, what, what are the examples? examples? Uh, for example, I mean, can be a housewife, she can be a doctor. So, uh, she has different roles. So, that uh, that is the real time example which I can think of in polymorphism. Okay. And why, why we, we use, use interface, interface in our program? Uh, why we use because uh, for achieving multiple inheritance and abstraction, uh, this interface is used. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you understand by method overriding and method, method overloading? So method overriding, what it happens is suppose uh, a child class. It so child class. It do uh, it does have the same method as declared in the parent class. So that is nothing but a method overriding. Whereas method overloading, what it happens? Uh, we can create multiple methods of the same name in the same class, but all the methods it works in different ways. So that is a method overloading. Okay. 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 Okay, so yes, uh, how do you decide if you want to make uh, method as, uh, method or class as, class as a static or as a non-static? So uh, when we have to make the method as static, when we want to like uh, call the method without creating the instance of that class, then we uh, mostly uh, use static method. Okay. So, in, in case, case of static method, method, do we need to create, create object? object? Uh, in case of static method, we don't create, uh, we don't need to create object. Okay. Okay. So, just a second. Okay, you have experience in response to website development too. Yes. So, yes. you are writing CSS queries uh, also, right? Yes. Okay, okay. So, so in how many ways, ways you can embed our CSS into the HTML? So there are three ways uh, through which we can embed CSS files into HTML uh, with the help of inline CSS, internal CSS, and external CSS. You know the concept of CSS specificity? So, for example, like the selector with more specificity, it will more likely to be applied on the element. So that is a CSS specificity. So CSS specificity, uh, specificity what it does, uh, it is used to uh, like the one selector overrides the another CSS selector. So with the help, uh, how it can be done with the help of CSS specificity. So you, you have, have you have you have one pa paragraph. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, a speed tag and uh, and, and that, that paragraph have, have one ID and one class. Yeah. Okay, so, so with the ID, ID I, have I have written a CSS as, as color is equal to red. Okay. Okay, and with the class, uh, I have written the color as blue. So which color get applied to the paragraph? So here, uh, ID selector will be given more specificity. So red color, it will be up. Uh, so the color which will be applied on the element will be the red color because the ID element will get more specificity over the a class. So, so why why why, why ID get, get applied? Why because it has more specificity as compared to the other. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, so, which framework, framework you are using to uh, make, make your sites? Uh, 
the framework uh, which I am using is Bootstrap for responsive. Okay. 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 So you use media queries also, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No worries. So yes, let's go to the React part. Okay. Can you tell me some characteristics of React? The characteristics of React is uh, it includes components, uh, virtual DOM, JSX, data binding, performance. So these are the few characteristics of React JS. Okay. In, In case, case of, of uh, data binding, for data binding we use JTA and props. So, how data binding works in uh, React? Uh, in React.js, uh, there is a one-way data binding. So, uh, the data flows in one way. So, that's why uh, it is a one-way data binding. Okay. Okay. What, what do you mean by JSX? JSX is nothing but a JavaScript XML. It helps us to write HTML in React. So, mainly for that purpose, we use JSX. Okay, and, and is our browsers are able to read the JSX directly? So, uh, browsers are unable to read JSX as JSX is not a valid JavaScript. So, therefore, Babel came into place. Babel is used to transform JSX. Okay, yes, Babel. Mm, okay, so do you also have the knowledge of Angular or just React? Uh, only React, not Angular. Okay, okay. And what is the uh, current version of React? The current version is React 18. So, uh, do you know the difference between ES6 and ES5 standards? So, uh, the difference between ES6 and ES5. So, ES6 has more features as compared to ES5. Like, uh, for example, like arrow functions have been included, a uh, spread operator, rest parameters. Uh, so in ES6 we can use let as well as const, whereas in uh, ES5 we can use only var. So features, uh, template literals, and so on. So these are the few features. There are more features, but uh, these are the few features which I'm able to uh, collect as of now. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. Okay. So, yes. uh, do you know what is event in React? So, event is nothing but uh, you can say an action which is performed on the based of uh, like it can be a system generated or it can be based on the action of the user. So, for example, like uh, we are pressing a key or for example, clicking a mouse. So, th these are nothing but an event. So, so these are examples of event. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Okay, so, so yes, I'm going deep. So, yeah. um, what, what do you understand by props? So, props it is used to pass data from parent component to child component. So, that is the use of props. Okay, okay, that's why you use props. Okay. So, uh, how to create refs in React? Uh, how do we create refs is like uh, with the help of create ref in class component, but in functional component with the help of use ref, we create refs. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what are the hook? So, uh, hooks, it allows us to use different features such as uh, states, life cycle methods. So, these are the features we can use with the help of functional components. Okay, okay. So, what, what, are what, are the uh, what are the advantages of using hooks? It is nothing but, uh, you can say, a simple JS function. When we want to like uh, come into functional components, we use hooks. We can't use hooks mm -hmm. in class components and it makes things easier. Okay. 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 Ok
as compared to class components okay so yes, as you mentioned class components so how many uh, types of components are there so the types of components it includes class components as well as functional components yes these are the two so what is the uh, main difference between these two uh, so uh, difference between class components and functional components is like uh, so there are inbuilt features for states and life cycle methods uh, like for example like uh, what we do for uh, mounting updating and mounting is component dead mount component uh, dead update component will unmount whereas for the in functional components we use use with the help of use effect we can do mounting updating and unmounting uh, whereas uh, functional components they are simpler as compared to class components class components use complex logic so so class components uh, it uses complex logic as compared to functional component it use it is bit simpler as compared to class components the functional component is simpler as compared to class component and the other difference which i can think of is the class component they are more complex as compared to uh, functional components so functional components they are bit easier to understand performance wise so it is bit better as compared to class components okay okay what, what is your state, state? use state it is used for managing the state in functional component so with the help of use state we can uh, def like we can have a value to the state and later on we can update the value as well with the help of use state okay okay yes what is the purpose of using super constructor the super method what it it is used for calling the constructor of its parent class so that is the use of super method okay okay Yes, I think we are good till then. So, do you have any experience on uh, experience on any database? Uh, experience in database, yes, I do. My SQL, yes. Okay. 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 So, so you never worked with um, the actual uh, backend part, right? Mm, no. So, do you create it? Uh, what? Uh, you you did uh, over MySQL. Okay, so MySQL. Like create, create a table or some store procedure yeah, or something else. Yes, yes, those kind of things. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yes, I am done. Any question for me?